we really liked it. Um, and there was early love for it, too. I can't tell you how far it went, um, but it captivated people. The concept was, I would say it was revolutionary in terms of how they dealt with the silence and stuff. Um, it moved me. Uh, I think about, try to think about ideas like that all the time, and actually seeing it executed, I was a little jealous. The challenge, because it's new, um, there were so many good entries, and we felt like we couldn't just give awards to everybody. You have to kind of create a pyramid, you know, a Grand Prix, gold, silvers. It was very challenging to create that pyramid. Um, that was probably the hardest challenge of all, and it was, it was, um, you know, I get emotional about these things because music is such an important part of my life, and to see so many great things that we couldn't honor uh, was challenging for me. The Grand Prix are excellent. You can't go wrong with Beyonce, obviously, but what was so super significant about the Beyonce video is that she's challenging uh, the mainstream perception of a pop artist. She's taking risks. She's challenging people to think about the police, um, race relations, women and their stature and culture, um, all the while doing something that's beautiful, compelling, spectacular. The other piece, um, the DECA, the, the supermarket spot, it's so heartwarming. Everybody cries, and when you see it like three or four times, you still cry. You know it's coming, and the music really supports that. Uh, the woman that sang the music, I believe, is a session singer from Germany. Um, it's an original piece of music created specifically for something, and it exploded in culture. And that's one of the great things. You know, that's one of the great opportunities about associating your music with the brand.